lot of confidence the whole match. We went into it um, as a, we really played together as a team, and we were playing pretty good volleyball, and, and the sets were tied 1-1. But we were down in set three, 21-17, and we came back and won that mat, that set, and really carried over into set four and even into the Washington match the next night. And I, I thought that was really key. That was, you know, for us to come from behind on the road in the Pac-12 and win that set just gave us a lot of confidence. A couple things. One, we identified last spring that that was something we really needed to work on, and. Uh, made a lot of improvements from last year. Uh, I'd also have to contribute that to our middle blockers, Aaron Red and Daniel Kilpack. They're, you know, I think both in the top 20 in the nation in blocking. They're doing a very good job of controlling the, our blocking system and helping out some of our younger blockers at the pins. We'd like to get a Pac-12 win at Crimson Court. Um, you know, we beat Colorado at Colorado, we beat Washington State at Washington State. I think young teams sometimes play better on the road, and I would like to, you know, get back to Crimson Court, use the support of our fans and, and the comfort of our gym, you know, to get a couple wins. Um, not going to be easy, never is, but I think we're playing pretty good volleyball, and again, we're playing together as a team, the attitude is great, um, and playing with a little more confidence, so, so we're, we're going to be ready. Okay, the game signs. I don't play it very often, with good reason. I'm not very good at it, but I will talk about that in a minute. But it's a game my team's played for a lot of years, and they play it all the time. And they each have a, a non-verbal sign, and I don't know, like it could be this, and this, I see them do different signs. And they each have their own sign, and they have to pass it on, and there's a person in the middle that has to catch somebody doing their sign before they get rid of it. It's kind of confusing. But a couple of years ago, they got me to go into the middle of the group, and they, uh, I, they're a lot better at it than I am because I never play it. And I was in it for quite a, I was in the middle of the circle for quite a while, and I was a little distraught, I'm not gonna lie. They were having a great time keeping me in the middle, and uh, it was hard, it was tough, and I was frustrated, and um, they really had a good time with it. So I guess, you know, if I can make my team happy at my expense, that's okay. But anyways, the team plays it a lot and they have a lot of fun with it. So.